Welcome everybody to a great day for racing. We got the Fat Money E NASCAR Cup Series race. I believe we're on nine or eight. Let me go look. Dang it. I think we're on I think it's eight. Yes, race eight. We're at Martinsville. We got cars getting ready to qualify. See who's gonna qualify up top. Tons of cars on the track. Looks like Tyler Ferguson at the moment laying down the fastest lap on practice. And Chronic's hard. And oh, Barry Stern Parts Jr. out of nowhere. One more Chronic's time. Qualifying a little worse than. Uh... What he was running practicing. Must let the nerves get to him a little bit. Let's see what happens this time around. Oh, Rich! Oh, Triple C! What? Just when you think the impossible has already happened. And Rich comes back, steals it again. No, Barry Sternparts Jr. gonna come back, steal it. Come on, Barry. One. And that uh, was the sorry. last lap. This is the official starting order. It looks like Barry Sternparts Jr. takes the pole. As we go to the race. As we watch cars get gritty with it, we will announce the order. Up in the very front, having pole position in that 55 Chevy, it is the rest in peace little peep car of Barry Sternparts Jr. And next to him and a man that hasn't seen the top five, the top 10 even, uh, really at all this season. We got Chris Michaels in the number 23 Intel Ford, and he is looking great. Another man that's had a hard time since starting this series. It is the 69 of Joseph Robinson, that Ric Flair drip car looking great. And make sure you smoke responsibly, ladies and gentlemen. And next to him, it's Christopher Rich in the number 59 Ford. And this is the Artemis car. Uh, it is a book you could find on Amazon by author Chris Snyder. Make sure you go check it out. Real book. He's got several on there. Great author. Uh, you'll definitely enjoy it. Next row back, we got the 21 of Tyler Ferguson in that Dale Earnhardt Jr. Whiskey River beer and wine car. And next to him is Triple C Suave Men number six. Next to, or sorry, one row back. Aaron Aldridge back into his car, the number five Ford Wrangler. JMR in that nationwide 57 Ford. And then we got Ned Ray Dog at the double O. Ninth place. 18 car. Austin Kiesler in that Clark's Craft and Beyond Chevy. And then next row we got Corey Gamble in that number 11 Junior Motorsports car. Doing great. Brett Aldridge in the number eight. In 12th place, Chronics High. In the 710 Sparco Chevy. Number 15 to Billy Ray Dog in that Fat Money Wrestling Chevy. Venom in that 387 Venom Wrestling Entertainment Chevy. Alan Stryker in the number 98 Logitech. Logitech, we need to talk. 420 of the Yokohama The Bean. 17th, Ralph McGinnis driving in that number seven car who needs a driver. Ladies and gentlemen, he is not a permanent driver. He's actually an owner to another company. Said to Corey that he would drive it for him in a couple races, and this is the first one he's going to race in. No sponsor. Ralph McGinnis, make sure you guys check him out. 
Number 24, Billy Ray Dog in the NASCAR Hall of Fame car. Sorry, did I say Billy Ray Dog? I meant Sophie Ray Dog. There you go. 32, Brent Michaels in that conspit Ford. Number 99, Ryan Chess in that Chevy. And next to him is the 74, Thomas Daniels in the butt kicker Chevy. <laughs> and and ladies and gentlemen, that is your running order for today's race. Hope you guys enjoy it as we get ready to go green in a minute, 25 seconds. Minute and a half. Minute and a half. <clears throat> We got a great group of cars, and uh, this one could be exciting. Great group of racers. I know I'm ready for this one to go green. Fifty seconds. Ish. It gives or takes. Hope you guys got your snacks ready. You only got 30 seconds to go get anything that you want. Be back here in time. Generally, if you think you have enough time to run to the kitchen, you don't. Okay, it takes approximately three minutes. <laughs> Every 90s kid knows that. You'll hit the kitchen. You'll be able to grab your food. But then... You gotta do a chore. Never fails. You'll never never make it back to that TV set to, to finish watching that episode. Not on time, you won't. Nope. The engines have started. The pace car's moving. And everybody else is following. Are you excited? I'm excited to get this, uh, get things kicked off here. A lot more cars on the track than we had yesterday at the truck race. Yes, indeed. Sounds like little marbles hitting the underneath of these cars. If you don't know what marbles are, they're little bits of rubber that are left over from tires uh, from wear and tear that is definitely uh, bouncing off these cars. Oh, yeah. I always get goosebumps seeing these cars make their pace laps. In them cars, you know them drivers are ready. Their heart is pumping at a speed they didn't even know was possible as that pace car pulls off and that throttle gets laid on and they wonder when well. green flag green flag as we go green flag racing Barry getting a sizable jump on the rest, but they're not going to let him get away. Not for long. Barry, Chris Michaels, Joseph Robinson, Tyler Ferguson, Chris Snyder, Aaron Aldridge, and Triple C all up here fighting. Starting to pull away from Joseph, but for how long? Joseph does look like he's got a nice running car today. He's running a pretty uh, deep line. He keeps it up. I think he might be able to catch. Depends on uh, if Gary takes defensive action here. 
Let's go ahead and check the back of this pack. JMR passing Triple C. Tyler Ferguson has already passed Triple C. We got Ned Raydog who's looking to come up on Triple C. Austin Kiesler getting passed by Corey Gamble. Chronics High back here as well. Brett Aldridge back here. Venom back here. Billy Raydog. Alan Stryker, The Bean, Sophie Ray Dog, Thomas Daniels, Brent Michaels, Ryan Chess, Ralph McGinnis out there in dead last, currently fighting his way up. Oh, as we look at Barry, just got passed by Christopher Rich. Christopher Rich running quick. Shades of Martinsville from the truck series. We got Rich, Barry, and where's Corey Gamble? <laughs> Rich came from nowhere to take this lead. Barry, though, gunning him down. So is Joseph Robinson. Chris Michaels back there with Tyler Ferguson and Aaron Aldrich. Barry not gonna let this one slip from him as he tries to keep up with the leader. Guys, we got nine laps in and 100 laps total. Oh. Barry gonna go for the pass. Debating it. And he does. There it is. It's a good clean pass. Christopher Rich going to catch out on the straight. Could happen. Doesn't look like it will this time. Barry takes the lead from Rich. You know, I know it's harder to get pushes here than it is in super speedways, but if they could just get some cars together, they could possibly stay up here in the front. We got a Chevy Ford, Chevy Ford leading top four. The first Toyota is back there in sixth place of Tyler Ferguson. A lot of Fords up here. Is Joseph Robson going to go past Rich? And he does. Let's go check on the rest of the pack here. Let's go start at the back with Ralph Beginnis. In last place. Sophie Raydog in front of him. Ryan Chess in front. Front, oh, sorry, Brent Michaels in front of Sophie Ray Dog. Ryan Chess in front of Brent Michaels. The Bean in front of there. Thomas Daniels in front of there. We got Billy Ray Dog in 16th. Venom in 15th. Alan Stryker in 14th. Looking to take 13th from Austin Kiesler. Ned Ray Dog fell back to 13th now and going to be passed. And there we go. As Austin Kiesler moves up to. I believe he's in 11th. Let's check this as he comes across so I can get back to Colin. Yes, yeah, Austin Keesler in the 12th, actually, you know? Yeah, 12th. Brett Aldridge in 11th. We got Chronix High in 10th. Corey Gamble fighting his way up. He's in 9th now. Triple C in 8th. JMR in 7th. Tyler Ferguson up here in sixth. Aaron Aldridge in fifth. Chris Michaels in fourth. Joseph Robinson in third. Rich is in second. Barry Sternpart still leading this race. <laughs> Not 
not much of a gap. Not much of a gap at all between Christopher Rich and Gary Sternfarts. Top five has been pretty close this whole race. Pretty close to it, yeah. I, I can say that. Holding right together in a nice little tight line. Every now and again you get someone poking around, but uh, they usually fall back in. Keep watching, see how this progresses. Joseph keeps looking for a place to go. There he is, he's poking. <laughs> he's looking, he's checking the outsides, taking that top line though, drove him back just a little bit. And Michael's oh. former- And he might take advantage of it. Former partner turned enemy. Not enough gumption. I'm gonna zoom in here, get a better view of the action. There we go. Oh, Joseph just gave Barry a push. And Barry's running with it. But not enough, he's gonna fall back to Joseph again. Will Joseph give another push or will he take the opportunity to pass? Push or slingshot? No! Slingshot. Joseph. Joseph said, I'm not pushing you again. If I'm faster, I'm going. And he has to fall back in line. All right, you better do a better job of blocking that inside. That's what Joseph wants to go. That's what it looked like. Joseph looking to place top five. Joseph also looking to put that Ric Flair drip car into victory lane for the first time. Christopher Rich took the lead from Barry. We didn't even notice. Back and forth. Rich starting to put a gap on Barry. Rich watched his truck series possibly win, slip through his fingers, putting that Sally's taco truck truck into victory lane. And this time he is not gonna let that happen. Trying to stay ahead. Gamble won the truck race and he's currently back there in uh, seventh. He's still working his way up. Hey, still making moves. As Corey Gamble fights his way up, he is not giving up that easy. Such a good race in the truck, uh, the truck series. I don't blame him. I'd be pushing my heart the whole way through. A little bit of a gap in top three to the next two. Uh, Michaels, the demigod, falling back with Aaron Aldrich and Tyler Ferguson catching up. Corey Gamble, though, trying his darndest. Barry and Joseph uh, starting to eliminate that room a little bit. And Rich is trying to put it back on. But he can't seem to shake Barry. Oh, 
Oh, there he... Trying. He picks his nose. Oh. Making his way on that inside line. It Barry takes the lead back. There it is. Wow. What a clean overtake. Trying to put that rest in peace little peep car in victory lane for the first time. Barry Sternparts Jr. Looks like he might be putting a little gap in there. He is. He is taking off. Joseph is. Oh, oh Joseph Pitt. Pitt. Who's all in pits? Top five. Are we the first to pit in here? It looks like it. Top five is the first. Or no, maybe other people have pit. Wow, maybe okay. everyone's pitting right now. I don't know. It looks like to me that this is the first round. It is pit time. Top five pitting. This is going just, to get tight. Just for fuel, I wonder? Are we getting any tire changes? Just for fuel. Fuel it is. Back out. Managed to stay in front of Christopher Rich. Aaron Aldridge got ahead of Michaels and Joseph. Everybody down pit lane. Everybody just pitted, yep. Everybody just decided it was a good time. And Barry takes off. That's what Barry needed to set a little bit more space between him and the others. Lap 35. 35 out of uh, 100. 37. 38. Let's see, they would have they would have crossed at like 37, maybe 36. So so around this point, so we're gonna see. One more pit cycle at least. At about, I would say 75-ish laps. 75. And I wonder if that one's going to include some tires. And Barry has took the lead back. Rich, it says it's second place, but I think that's, unless that's not the demigod. I'll, we'll have to wait for him across the line here in a minute. That's not the Demigod, that's Brent Michaels' lap car. Right? Yeah, Brent Michaels' lap yes. car. All right. So we got Barry in first, Christopher Rich in second, Aaron Aldridge back there in third. And look at the room, the gaps now between first, second, and third. Well, there was a gap between first and second. But... Rich just ate that gap alive. And Barry's going to try to put it on him by passing his team owner, Venom, who's not having a good run today. Uh-oh. All right, Venom and Barry seem to have talked. Venom said take the inside. And... Venom's going to try to cut him off, but he doesn't get it. This is getting nuts as Barry and Rich are side by side for a moment. Ooh. Eating up. going to try to put another car down and that is Alan Stryker no Ryan Chess okay. Barry making moves around this track let's go check on the rest of the cars real quick Back here in last place, the Bean. And then in front of the Bean is Ralph Beginnis, who, I got to say, having a horrible day for a team owner. Uh, Sophie Raydog 
in 20th. These guys are all lap down. 19th is Venom. Brent Michaels, 18th, and Ryan Chess, currently the last car to be lapped down. We got Thomas Daniels, who's Barry has in the sights. Alan Stryker, Ned Raydog, Billy Raydog in 13th, Austin Kiesler in 12th, Triple C somehow in 11th, 10th is JMR, Corey Gamble is in 9th, fell back a little bit from where he worked himself up to. Chronix High made his way up to 8th place. Brett Aldridge in 7th, Tyler Ferguson trying to pass Joseph Robinson for 5th. We got Joseph Robinson in fifth currently. Chris Michaels in fourth. Aaron Aldridge in third. Christopher Rich in second. And Barry Sternparts Jr. in first. Lap 51. Currently, right now, Mitch, I would say it's still anybody's race. I think you're right. It, uh, it really comes down to who can hold it. Or if, if a pit's going to happen and if it's going to happen at the right time for that select driver. We've seen people's pit strategies not work out like in the truck race. and We certainly uh, did. Some stuff needs adjusted over in the truck series for sure. But um, Looks like it's riding pretty well in the car series. I, I think it's a good mix here. Yes, I think, I think uh, this one may have some little tweaking still left to do before we start our first official season. Uh, remember, we're still in uh, developmental here, but everything matters. These wins matter. The money matters. So these racers looking to walk out with, uh, with the victory. The 99 of Ryan Chess is actually holding up Christopher Rich here and as you guys know uh, the officials for the E NASCAR series here are not happy about people doing this and that could come back to be a fine for him later on. They have boxed in Rich as Barry takes off. If you're Barry and you see that in your rear view, how are you feeling? Just tops, the bee's knees. <laughs> Maybe a little anxious, I'd say. You see two lap cars holding back second and third who will have some fast cars. And you just get a coast it. Rich might have just found his way around. Let's see if he shoots the gap. Looks like he is. Aaron Aldridge hot behind him. Aldridge is now around. That means Rich and Aldridge now have clean air to try to catch Barry Sternparts Jr. Got himself a nice little gap going. And unlike we've seen in some races where that gap was what started the race, that is not the case in this one. No, it was it was pretty close and tied up the whole way up until what was it about 25? Until 25 pits. Laps in. Yep. And if you see some cars going down pit road now, looks like pit strategy is starting to play out here. Let's see who it plays out for best. Barry's going in. Rich is staying out. Aaron Aldridge staying out. 
Joseph Robinson going to follow Barry in, though. A lot of the other lead cars going to stay out. Try to get that lap or two ahead on Barry because he's got a fast car tonight. You know, Uto Racing looking for that first win of the season, and they would love it to be Barry. Joseph Robinson and Barry both parked here. Barry goes. Joseph Robinson not behind him. Let's see how this one plays out. Christopher Rich has not went to pits. His other car, 57, JMR there. It looks like he might be going now. Rich now goes into pits. Aaron Aldridge into pits. Looks like Chris Michaels into pits. I did not see Tyler Ferguson go into pits, so Tyler Ferguson's still out. Gonna take the lead. Barry right there behind him, though, ready to take the lead away, I'm pretty sure. And Tyler goes into pits, leaves Barry out. Chris Michaels into pits. Christopher Rich currently the leader, it says. Barry Sternparts Jr. going to go off. Let's see. Or sorry, Tyler Ferguson. And Rich and Aaron Aldridge are out. Barry's back on the lead lap. have to wait for this to play out Mitch yep Mary Stern parts doing everything he can to get back up there in the top spot that's what it looks like from here Tyler Ferguson is running fairly well I think he's finally stopped into the pits currently it says Ryan Chess is our leader Ryan Chess huh that's a new name for up there am I right uh, we definitely have not seen it yet, so I'd say so, yeah. And Ryan Chess somehow holding this lead. Just, just kind of touched Corey Gamble there, moved him out of his way. He said, excuse me. And, uh, excuse me, he did. Ryan Chess might win this. Ryan Chess is running a good line. Keeping, uh, oh, he's actually adding quite a bit of a gap there. I mean, I don't know if Ryan Chess pitted yet. I There was a lot of commotion there during pits. But if he hasn't, this could be Ryan Chess's race, but I mean, we do have Barry Sternparts Jr. here trying to catch up. Ryan Chess has put an incredible gap. He's put on a whole nother second with the last uh, two laps. Oh, he goes in. There he goes. Finally. I was going to say. He's, and behind he's him is Venom. Crazy tough. And Sophie Raydog. Thomas Daniels stays out. 
Puts Barry in second, though. Third place is Chris Michaels. Rich is in fourth now. Aaron Aldridge in fifth. Brett Aldridge in sixth. Uh, we're going to have to wait to see what happens to the people that we're currently leading. Ryan Ch or Thomas Daniels goes in. Barry Stewart Parts Jr. takes the lead. And the thing I'd like to point out is they aren't too far back second and third. I mean, if we flip back to Michaels, who is currently says in second, you can see Barry Sternparts Jr. Barry getting caught up on lap cars here, and this could uh, this could cost him valuable seconds. Barry holding that lead. We're on lap 82. 28 to go. You think we'll have enough fuel? Uh, I don't know. Um, we might have to hit another pit. I, it's hard telling at this point time. Time man. Barry finally finding his way around Ned Ray Dog possibly as Chris Michaels is hot on his tail. Aaron Aldridge just took third. Rich is back and forth. Going through Barry's mind right now has to be distance. I need distance, I need speed. I am speed. On lap 85. He is putting distance between him and the demigod, Chris Michaels. We got Aaron Aldridge in third, Christopher Rich in fourth, and in fifth, Joseph Robinson. Some of these cars have not seen a top five. Some of them haven't seen a top five at all. Very exciting for these racers. Barry's looking to be one of the next racers to go from pole to victory lane. I want to point out there were several times where Rich had this lead and it looked like Rich's race. And then Barry and him would keep trading off. Joseph Robinson was up there playing around. And this is where the problem is. We're going to start passing lap cars. They're going to start slowing down these racers and we'll see a little bit of a change in lead, I do believe. Barry needs to drop down because here comes the demigod. Barry going to try to run the outside. Ooh, he got a little loose. Let's zoom in on Barry here as things are starting to heat up for first. Ooh. Second place right behind. And he puts JMR between them.
But in front of Barry, you got the 420 of the Bean, and you got the 98 of Alan Stryker, and then head of both of them, you got Triple C in that six car. Barry gets past the Bean. As the Demigod gets past JMR. Barry needs a quick pass on these two cars. There we go. Gonna try to take high, take but it's it. his car has just not ran high all night. Mitch, he needs that inside. Here we go. We're looking for the inside. 38 needs or 98 needs to just scoot up the track a little for him to scoot on by. And here comes the demigod getting past them. Now there are no cars between them. The bean is now not an issue. This is a problem for Barry in his rear view. A man who had trouble. He had he had trouble learning to race. He had trouble with his cars, with his equipment, with his team. And it looks like tonight could be the night that it pays off for the Chris Michaels, the demigod, in that Ford Mustang as he approaches Barry Sternparts Jr., our leader on lap the outside. 95. This one is getting close. The demigod lost his line a little bit. He's falling back. Chris Michaels needs to figure it out because Barry is starting to put that gap back on him. Alan Stryker just fighting to not go a lap down. <laughs> He said, please, sir, I'd like to finish this race on the lead lap. Please, sir. Uh-oh. Oh, no. The leader in the pit lane. Oh, no. Oh, no. Chris Michaels takes the lead. Aaron Aldridge right behind him. Oh, no. We're about to pass for the white flag. Here we go, white flag. Michael to the lead. Aaron Aldridge trying to catch him. Aaron Aldridge up on him. Does he have enough? Barry's back out. And... Chris Michaels takes the checkered flag. Barry finished top 10 on the lead lap, but you know he's not happy with whatever went down. Alan Stryker stayed on the lead lap, somehow ahead of Barry at the end of this. Triple C in eighth, Corey Gamble in seventh, Chronix High in sixth, Tyler Ferguson in fifth, Joseph Robinson takes fourth, Christopher Rich third, Aaron Aldridge second, and Chris Michaels takes first. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Cup Race. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one. You guys have a good one.